And so Tamir left, riding north and wondering what would become of his supplies. For soon, they would surely spoil. That should have been the end of this tale and the poor man's life. But fate intended otherwise. The Saracen leader saw to it that the merchant was repaid a thousand times. Was... Don't help! He wants to kill me! I'll pay for your sins! You can't escape! You won't get away from me! Tamir left, riding north and wondering what Why would become of his supplies. For soon, they would surely spoil. <laughs> that should have been the end of this tale and the poor man's life. But fate intended otherwise. He's going to hurt himself. None know the man better than I. Come close. Hear the tale I have to tell. Of a merchant prince without peer. Some say, were it not for Tamir, Salahadin's men would have surely turned on him. Could be we won the battle because of that man. You ever see someone do that before? I have. Why is he doing that? Why would he do that? <laughs> Infidels! Death to the infidels! Boom! Ah. Come back here! Anyone see it? Hey, he's dead! I'll get you! You are built out of the way! Out of the way! There's no way out! He's finished! Move! Move! Move. Uh. You cannot run forever! There he is! Look out! He's tiring himself! Get him! Uh. I will catch you! Yeah. You won't get away from me! Have any of you seen him? I was sure he was nearby. I was sure he was nearby. When will he stop acting like a fool? Tamir gave the man his food. And when the battle was finished, the Saracen leader saw to it that the merchant was repaid a thousand times. I should kill you for that. Tamir drove a caravan in those days between Damas and Jerusalem. But recent business had been poor. It seemed there were none in Jerusalem who wanted what he had. Fruits and vegetables from nearby farms. 
Your presence was just before Hattin. The Saracens were low on food and in Go desperate away. need of resupply. But there was no relief in sight. So Tamir gave the man his food. And when the battle was finished, the Saracen leader saw to it that the merchant was repaid a thousand times. Some say, were it not for Tamir, Salahadin's men would have surely turned on him. Could be we won the battle because of that man. Hey! You look familiar. You seem to know quite a bit about Tamir. Tell me what he's planning. I know only the stories I tell, nothing more. A pity. There's no reason to let you live if you've nothing to offer in return. Wait, wait! There is one thing. Continue. He is preoccupied as of late. He oversees the production of many, many weapons. What of it? They're meant for Salah ad -Din. This does not help me, which means it does not help you. No, stop, listen! Not Salah ad -Din. They're for someone else. The crests these arms bear, they are different, unfamiliar. It seems Tamir supports another, but I know not who. Is that all? Yes, yes. I've told you everything I know. Then it's time for you to rest. <laughs> for what we believe in. There is no greater glory than this. South comes the English king and his infidel army. They leave horrors in their wake. Salah Hadid. against the will of God, and must be made to pay. Everywhere they ride, they leave only suffering in their wake. They say it is a crusade. Why a crusade for what? Ignorance? Violence? Madness? We must resist. We must fight them in any way we can. Praise be Salah Adin. He has found the strength to stand in defense of our great civilization. Make no mistake, it is our very existence we are fighting for. The infidel king would see us all wiped from the world. We must resist. We must push back. Be wary, friends. The Shaitan is everywhere. So, how did you manage to do it? <laughs> oh, it wasn't easy, my friend. No, not at all. Cursed merchant caught me trying to steal from him. Called for help. I can't imagine the guard were pleased. At least a dozen of them appeared. All well armed and spoiling for a fight. 
What did you do? I ran, over, under, and through the crowd. Knocked over a few stalls for good measure. But they kept coming. Then how did you escape? With a little help from my friends. What do you mean? There's a couple of my brothers who gather around the southeastern exit of the souk. They let me pass and then turned their attention towards the guards. Kept them distracted while I got away. Without their help, I wouldn't be here right now. I stand before you to deliver a warning. Should Richard take Jaffa, there will be no stopping him. He will march on Jerusalem next. We must end this. He seems to be in a rush. What's wrong with him? <laughs> Altair, welcome, welcome. I've done what you asked. Now give me the marker. First things first. Tell me what you know. Tamir rules over the Souk El Salah. He makes his fortune selling arms and armor and is supported by many in this endeavor. Blacksmiths, traders, financiers. He's the largest death dealer in the land. And have you devised a way to rid us of this blight? A meeting is being arranged at Souk El Salah to discuss an important sale. They say it's the largest deal Tamir has ever made. He'll be distracted with his work. That's when I'll strike. Your plan seems solid enough. I give you leave to go. Let Al Mualim's will be done. You may rest here until you are ready. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Altair, my friend! Is something wrong? Has Tamir been delayed? Has he left the city? Everything is fine, Rafiq. Ah, I see. Then why return so soon? Wait, do not answer. It is not for me to question your ways. I am certain no matter how strange your approach to this task, you will succeed. Anything I can help you with? Something caught your eye? Infidel! Samatha! Ah, no, I Getting better and better at slipping away. Come, people, come see what I have to offer. Oh! Yes, come, come. Let me show you everything. A 
few coins. All I ask is for a few coins. No, please don't leave. Just a few coins, please. Please, sir, have any money? My family's sick and dying. Could you spare a few coins? I need food. I'm so hungry. Just a little money, I beg of you. Please, can't you spare something? I'm poor. I have no interest in your calculations. The numbers change nothing. Your men have failed to fill the order, which means I have failed my client. We need more time. This is the excuse of a lazy or incompetent man. Which are you? Neither. What I see says otherwise. Now, tell me, what do you intend to do to solve this problem of ours? These weapons are needed now. I see no solution. The men work day and night, but your client requires so much, and the destination, it is a difficult route. Were it that you could produce weapons with the same skill as you produce excuses? I have done all I can. It is not enough. Then perhaps you ask too much. Too much? I gave you everything. Without me, you would still be charming serpents for coin. All I ask in the return was you fill the orders I bring you, and you say I ask too much? <laughs> you dare disrespect me? Peace, Tamir. I meant no insult. Then you should have kept your mouth shut! No! Stop! Stop? <laughs> I'm just getting started! No! Stop! You came into my souk, stood before my men, and dared to insult me! You must learn your place! No. Leave the body. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. Think twice before you tell me something cannot be done. Now get back to work. now, my friend. You'll not profit from suffering any longer. You think me some petty death dealer, suckling at the breast of war? A strange target, don't you think? Why me, when so many others do the same? You believe yourself different, then? Oh, but I am. For I serve a far nobler cause than mere profit. Just like my brothers. Brothers? Ah, but he thinks I act alone. I am but a piece, a man with a part to play. You'll come to know the others soon enough. They won't take kindly to what you've done. Good. I look forward to ending their lives as well. Such pride. It will destroy you, child. Come 
soon be land. And thousands of lives are lost. The child of never finding anything useful as ever was a tragedy. But I say, this is an honor. To die and then I can go and I can for what we believe in. Die, thief! No Let reason to stand here, please. Can't be seen. I'll have your hands for that. Why are you doing this? I've done nothing wrong. Dare to steal? I'll have your hands for that. I don't understand. You dare steal in my presence? Your that will cost you your life. Infidel, die! Talk to the infidel! He's close. He must be. has reached me of your victory, Altair. You have my gratitude and my respect. Thank you. It is a shame that the other assassins continue to hold you in such poor regard. Rafiq, I do not care what the others think of me. As you wish, Altair. You should bring news of your victory to al Malim. I'm certain he has more work for you to do. Fast forwarding.